Matt's show is called Bad Hasbara, and Hasbara means um, explaining in Hebrew, but it really is kind of shorthand for Israeli propaganda. Western facing usually, so it's like ah, th- right. not propaganda for other Israelis, but propaganda for, you know, uh, Europe and uh, America. And yes. So I thought it'd be great for us to review some propaganda from some Hasbara. Hell yeah. And one of the... I feel I don't even know if he's a successful Hasbaras because I don't think he's intelligent enough to really do Hasbaras. Oh, you don't have to be smart to be a successful Hasbaras. In fact, okay. the dumber you are, the more likely you are to have a following. Oh, OK. <laughs> so that would make sense. Well, yeah. one of my favorite Hasbaras is none other than actor Michael Rappaport. <laughs> and um, actor. Yeah, actor in, in quotes. Yeah. Michael Rappaport. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I know. Who is apparently Jewish, which I I don't like publicizing that just out of self interest. <laughs> but um, Blakely, you've been doing the Lord's work, uh, impersonating Michael Rappaport in order to understand Blakely's takedowns of Michael Rappaport. Unfortunately, it does require <laughs> seeing the Michael Rappaport video. All right, I'm in Jerusalem at the Machane Yehuda Market. I'm looking for the apartheid. Okay, in Israel, I am looking for the apartheid. I just asked all these people, not one person. Okay, it's apart. He's saying apartheid. Just want yes, it's apartheid. Yeah, he keeps yeah. saying Does apartheid. Does he think he's saying the word apartment? Like I don't yeah. think mm-hmm. he's just pointing at apartments and asking yeah. where I, the apartheid is. I also is. love that there's yeah, no people. Right. Like it's just building. Yeah, yeah. they cleared the street. <laughs> Michael Appleport is making a video. Everyone, yeah. get in the, get in your yeah. home, get especially the, the Arabs. Yeah. yeah. Is able to tell me where the apartheid is. So I'm asking you on this platform, since you're so smart, to tell me where I can go to actually witness the apartheid. You guys know where the apartheid is? No, I do. No one knows where the apartheid is, but I'm sure you can tell me. Let me know where the apartheid in Israel is. Okay. <laughs> so. Let's Walking see. around occupied Jerusalem. I know. <laughs> Just... Does he not know how it works at all? <laughs> Does he think it's like on every block there's a separation? <laughs> like half it's the his, block it's is. It's his first time there. Yeah, a hundred percent. This is the, uh, for those of you who don't know. I I, 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 can't say this for a fact, but. It very much seems to me like Michael Rappaport is in his first time, like birthright era right yeah. now. <laughs> yes. um, I saw a tweet from him a few days ago where he said, um, I finally, I got bar mitzvah, oh, finally. At 50 something, right? Yeah, like like 53, which come on, who are you kidding? Yeah. 63. Yeah. Um, but also <laughs> like, to me, I was just like, oh, this, this all makes, this all makes perfect sense. If I if if October seventh had happened when I was thinking about going to Israel on birthright, who knows what kind of fucking douchebag I'd be? Right. Yeah. You know? True. And uh, I someone wrote in the comments that he thinks it's a person. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It yes. does sound like, like he's looking he, for for a person in the He's apartheid. looking for looking for someone. As I say often about him, everywhere except for the camera. Yeah, that's <laughs> not, yeah, that's his at interesting camera, technique. Yeah. His eyes are always like wandering elsewhere. <laughs> Let's let you uh, show your own interpretation <laughs> of Michael Rappaport. Let's take a look at this video that was inspired by uh, Michael's apartheid video. Let's take a look at this Blakely video. On the Upper East Side, and I keep asking people, where is the apartheid? Where is the fucking income inequality? I haven't seen a single fucking project here on the Upper East Side. I need to get back into the middle of the road and look somewhere else that's not the camera. Listen, you fucks. The only thing I fucking see is older ladies with Hermes scarves up here. Where's the apartheid? It's like when you fucks say that there is police brutality. Really? Cause I was just walking by a fucking precinct and saw a black cop. You want to say there's police brutality? Show me. Just like you fucks want to say that there's a apartheid. <laughs> well, I'm here. I'm here on the Upper East Side. You fucks, show me where it is. I haven't seen a single poor black up here or any black people at all. I refuse to leave fucking Tel Aviv, but I need you to show me where the apartheid is, you fucks. I was helping a fucking settler move into a house he stole in the occupied West Bank. And the Palestinian family that were fucking in there didn't even try to fight the armed IOF moving their shit out, okay? 
Now if you'll like, fucking excuse me, I'm gonna go have a Palestinian child for lunch. Ah! <laughs> so good. So good. <coughs> he's deranged. Like, yeah, and he's been <laughs> responding to those videos that you've been making, huh? Yes, like, can't stop, won't stop. Like, one day he just kept responding. And what's really funny is, when it comes to the Zionists, every accusation is a confession. Right. Mm -hmm. Every accusation. So, and another thing that they do, which I just want to mention, it, that, it, that it's the same shit. It's like they have a playbook they just repeat over and over again. They love to go... Oh yeah, have you tried being queer in Gaza? Mm -hmm. They they really think that they're nailing it every yeah. time. They always think, "Oh, I'll get you a plane." He said to me, "I'll get you a plane ticket to Ramallah and see." <laughs> but he was calling it Ramallah. I keep offering, nobody keeps taking. I keep offering. I haven't got one taker. I offer any LGBTQ for Palestine person. I offered anybody who is part of the Jews for Palestine, a one-way ticket, a flight to Israel. If you get here soon, I'll, I'll, I'll pick you up at the airport, all right? I'll drive your ass to Ramallah, to the West Bank. Which, oh like, God. I don't understand why, if you're pretending to be indigenous to the land, Lamau, <laughs> like, why you're calling it Pamela Ramallah. Like, right. I'll just... tell you Ramallah a ding-dong yeah. ticket. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, wait a second. I don't think they say it like that. And I'm also, an uh, I'm sorry, fly into where now? Yeah. Get, uh, what, do you think there's an airport there? Right, exactly. Do you yeah. think it, they control the airspace? Is there an airport in Ramallah is the question. The, and then he's like, and then he keeps calling me a bitch. And what? Like, <laughs> oh, my God. Christ. He's Come like on. so bad at being. What I appreciate about him, though, he and his friend Lee Kern, they don't even pretend to be liberal or yes. open minded. Like there's a very dangerous streak of like mm -hmm. touchy feely Zionism that mm -hmm. pretends to be all accepting and like rainbow Zionism. And there's pink washing and there's, you know, that phenomenon of pet progressive except on Palestine. But what's nice about him is that he's such a, a brute, like he's so vulgar and obnoxious and um. I don't even know what the right word for him is. He's, he's a douchebag. He's a douchebag. He's just a yeah. douchebag. That's exactly what he is. He's just a douchebag. And it's nice to see the mask off sometimes yeah. as opposed yeah. to this polished and streamlined and shiny Zionism. Well, for sure. But he also, he does, he's, he, he lives in a very special, uh, like niche in terms of like Hezbaris because he has the like affectation of like a straight right wing genocidal Zionist. Right. And those, you know, they, they'll just say out loud right. all of the awful shit that they want to mm -hmm. do. Um, but he still like couches it in liberal Zionism. So, you know, be like, hey, you fucking bitch. Why don't you go to Gaza and get raped? But right. it's like, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. It sounds, first of all, you sound like someone who's pro-rape based on language alone. Yeah. Uh, and then also it's it's like, you know, he'll talk about, you know, uh, like you said, gay people, you know, being executed and stuff, while at the same time having completely no knowledge of basically anything. Yeah, there are no airports in any of the occupied territories. It, like the <laughs> fact that he's like, well, he's like, oh, I'll buy you a ticket to Rambling, <laughs> Ram Ding Dong. It's like, uh, bro, yeah. could you, you get, Google, Google and find out there's the apartheid found but, it. Yeah. And right. as I was saying, like every accusation is a confession to me. What he, this has revealed to me is that a lot of these so-called liberal Zionists are just transphobes and bigots. Yeah. And they kind of project their fantasies of what they want to see happen to us. Mm -hmm. onto us a hundred percent yeah they'll pr they'll try to get me with the did you know that like they have pride in israel and this right. and this and that and they would throw you off a roof in gaza you dumb fucking queer whore yeah. <laughs> right. I, I hope yeah, you're happens. an ally they're <laughs> yeah. allies yeah yeah i'm like wait wait <laughs> That's I, I think it's so funny that the idea that and i've heard this so many times from people like how could you be a, a queer for palestine or mm -hmm they would throw you off of rooftops. It's like, so your solution <laughs> is to bomb those people. Yeah, yeah. Like, do you think that LGBTQ people who you claim to be acting in solidarity with or who you claim to be a, in that community, do you think they have special, like, like some kind of magic 
magic powers where they can withstand bombs? Like it no. just kills the straight people? Like, no. Like walk me through how this is good allyship. No, it's because their solution to microaggressions is is macroaggressions. Right. Like yeah. they the, their entire thing is like all of these like liberal BuzzFeed 2015 like talking points about mm -hmm. like imposter syndrome and shit like that and just grafting it onto like a Palestinian baby and just being like, "Hey, you know what? It better it dies than be a bigot." And you're right. like, "I think you might be a bigot." Right. That sounds yeah. like something a bigot would yeah, say. You may be. Yeah. Right. And like they don't even hear themselves or realize that they're oh, actually yeah. saying a ton of transphobic shit. Oh yeah. Like I get it all the time that they're couching in being liberal Zionists who are quote unquote trying to protect gay <laughs> people and right. and people I in the LGBTQ them, plus them. community. Yeah. I'm like, you're just and yeah. Michael Rappaport does it all the time. He was tweeting that shit at me over and over and over again. And this he was offering to, to pay you to pay you to pay your way to yeah, yeah <laughs> to an airport Ram that doesn't Ramallah. exist to an airport in Ramallah that yeah. doesn't right. exist in order so that I guess I can get stoned or something because he said I've got to wear like a queers for Palestine shirt mm -hmm. um in the hopes that and then you know they always go into these fantasies about how I'm gonna get raped by Hamas <laughs> or like <laughs> some, some other fantasy when I'm like bro if I actually were to go to Israel let's just say. I would be afraid of getting killed by an IOF soldier. Yeah. That's yes. who I would be afraid of being killed by. That's who does the majority of killing in the right. occupied territories. And and also I think it's like the perfect um like encapsulation of like the Zionist uh like colonial thinking um in terms of their superiority as like a culture and as yes. a people is to be like is to outsource the atrocity that you want done to an imaginary figure that you just assume every Arab is to mm -hmm. just be like, you know what? happen if you go it's like the same people who say you know oh yeah why don't you go down the street in compton and then you get yeah. robbed and killed and raped and it's just like so you're just do you just think that like there are no mailmen uh fucking cab drive like like and there are another... people in all these neighborhoods that exist there are people in the occupied west bank who exist uh in peace uh most of the time unless they are being fucking uh harassed and murdered and detained and killed uh by uh iof soldiers so it's like they just it just shows it's a, an insight into their racism that they would just automatically assume that wherever you go as a uh, queer person or as a trans person uh, in the West Bank or in Gaza, you would just get killed by, you know, because of Arabs. It's um, their it's their racism. It's also their um, their rage, their white yeah. supremacist rage 100%. at the idea that they get like the white backlash or the the white supremacist backlash that people get when they feel that someone who looks like me should be on their side. Yeah. 100%. And when I'm not, right. they're enraged. And all of a sudden, people who supposedly were like, oh, we're an LGBTQ ally are sending me messages describing my rape. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I love gay people so much that I want to give them a graphic, detailed <laughs> version right. of their of execution. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I also like- Not by me. No, I'm right, cool. Right. I'm yeah, not, I, mean, I, know. I wouldn't I do it. I would never yeah. do that. But boy, well, let me let me just detail. Let me tell you about them, Arabs. Yeah, yeah, let me tell you about them, because oh god, it just makes me hot just thinking about. It. But hot with rage, because I don't like it. 